Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 56 of Grand Ages Medieval. Again, I, we have allowed a few... Oh, what are these? We have allowed a few weeks to go by, and uh, so, and this allowed us to position... What is this? Is that water? Interesting that there is... Wow, this city is so well positioned. What city is that? It has water just by close by it. This is what? A oh, Jerusalem. Oh, oh, that's the Lake of Galilee, Sea of Galilee. Oh, wow. I wish we can get that city, but uh, anyway, I just noticed that because that's yeah, that's water and that's fresh water. Uh, okay, and uh, so uh, again, a few weeks have passed by, so we were able to position. Uh, three settlers in this area and i think uh, these settlers will be relying these three cities i mean uh will be relying on will be connected or will be hooked up to this uh, to jackfruit jackfruit is a major industrial city so right they can produce tools uh and pump so none of these three new areas like this one doesn't have access to metal just uh so i'm not sure yet what to do here and this one has has more choices right it has uh aside from wood oh it doesn't have bricks it has four prairies so we can those are could be beef or grain and then uh honey uh skin which is for textile and salt and this one would be oh it has only honey uh wood and wood and bricks and coal oh and coal and uh so coal and this one should make pottery but then we don't have metal so uh anyway going back to this so if this this only has uh honey to it so that means what if we turn this into our main uh, bread basket so we will produce grain honey uh ale and cake so that's four items and over here since we already are using so we're between skin and salt so i would rather work with we let's produce skin and textile wool textile and garments and salt and then the salt we can send over to this side which will produce wood bricks and uh bacon so it will produce three items here uh, we can, we can, I'm thinking we can also produce fruit either here or here. But since we have, we have like, we have, uh, coal and we have pottery here, that's kind of stretch to be able to coal and then pottery on this side. That's kind of a stretch to produce, uh, items. However, if, if we can import coal we can import coal and tools from here uh we can also make pump here but there's no point because we're already we can just draw from this guy except if we're trying to rely pump from jackfruit it might never get to here since jackfruit is also servicing these other three cities over here anyway so the, but that's thing in the future so in the meantime we will we will only produce uh, wood bricks and bacon here and since uh, bacon needs a lot of uh, salt and wood, right? To, I think to to brine them, so that is something. It makes sense to also produce wood here. So this will be our main materials production center. And okay, if that's the case, let us then uh, uh, work as such. And then uh, okay, let's 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 name this city. Let's settle this city. And let us call it uh jackfruit south i'm running out of names that's why and also this would be not very imaginative but it will keep uh, get, get us jackfruit south Jackfruit, yes, it should, we should know.
What did I do? <clears throat> ah. Maybe it's because I just woke up <laughs> and my mind is still a little muddled. Okay, that's Jackfruit South. And uh, this would be our textile company. Right? Uh, okay, let's settle this. And we will call it... It's another fruit name. It's called Jambul. Uh, it's a really exotic. I don't know what that is, but uh, again, I just picked it up off the list of list of list of fruit names starting with J. <laughs> and so uh, Jambul and this will be. Uh, let's say what are they close by? So how about this? Oh. No, no, I, I w let's better keep it here because I want to have access to this one. See, this one actually shows us metal, coal, right? And possibly fruits over here. So if we can maybe, if we can maybe position a city over here or a settler over here, it might, we might have all three items. Uh, we don't have wine, so if we get wine, metal, and coal, then uh, we can start processing other stuff. So then we can make uh, a, a separate. Uh, anyway, that that increases our our possibility, and also it will be hopefully by the seashore or something around here. I I don't know yet. I haven't seen. We don't we don't know that area yet. So let us keep it open. Anyway, so we will call this. Uh huh. Jam Bull South. Okay. And then, okay, what that's beautiful done. Land. Ooh. And then, uh, let us get our um, road engineers to help us out. Wow, we got so many traders. Oh, we got a lot of bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, settlers ready for uh wow it's all the way down here cool so from here to this one looks good what is this guy doing okay uh here to here oh okay here from here to here looks good and then from here to here a good choice cool and then uh okay and then we need to uh turn them into wait uh, again let's work with this guy first because this is our main that one that one textiles right one two three okay and then this guy would be our main food manufactory and that would be mm, grains honey cake and beer okay looks good and then uh here would be no 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 <laughs> not the in first uh wood bricks and ham for now okay we will not do anything on the ham because we need to produce it first so let us make uh two wood and three bricks So they're immediately done, right? And then uh, for here, uh, we need to do wool, 
sulfur, salt, uh, garm. Uh, let's let's do garments also, right? Uh, you know, but it will just have to wait on those other guys to uh, come up with. What if we just do more salt, right? For now, because uh, we need to ship the salt. Uh, you know what? Let's just do the do the garments. Yeah, the tailoring. And then on the food side, again, we just need to increase. Uh, I think grains. Let us make th three of them. Uh, let's make three grains. Uh, beer. One. Uh, honey, one. Or maybe two grains and then... Uh, no, the bread needs to take some time because without grain, we cannot make bread. So, so once we... Have, oh, oh yeah, we can make... We can make both of them at the same time. Because these factors are already done. So, okay. Is there materials for another one? Hey, there is. Oh, but we have to make it. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, are there materials here to make more stuff like uh, salt? No, we are short. Okay. And now they're short on people, right? Uh, okay, they're all short on 125 people. Let's see how many people we can ship down. That's these are barely. Yeah, they are just we just Yeah, we're expanding so fast. These guys <laughs> these guys are all empty. They're they themselves are needing a lot of uh settlers themselves. Okay, how about uh, going to the older cities? Uh How about this one? No, that's only 50. Wow. These are relatively new cities. They're uh, how about oh, how about night ninety seven? Okay, we can move ninety seven. We can track them to not Junipero. Huh? Juniper berry. Wait, why are they? Why is Juniper Berry short on so many people? Oh, so apparently they haven't arrived yet. Oh, this is interesting. What is this production like? At least it's producing stuff already. Uh. I think I might have sent people here prior during the off screen. So if I send more people there, then it would be too crowded. No, uh, let's just work with Jackfruit South and Jambu. Let's track them, not to junior Jambu, Jackfruit, Jackfruit South. Okay. And then on uh, pine. Let's track them to Jambu. And then for the food. We can do them by dribbles. <laughs> Track them to Jambu South. So that's fifty. That's about sixty. And uh, how about this guy over here? Nope, too little. 
How about over here? Hmm. Oh, we already maybe 60 only. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that hopefully works out. And then, uh, okay, I'm. Tr I s and then let us check uh, on getting a uh, trader, a free trader that we can send down there. Uh, who's this guy? Mm, I don't know. Uh, that's a three free trader. Are we sending him down there? That's the one guy. I don't know if I've sent a, a free trader. Pre uh, if I have prepositioned on a free free trader down there, there might be. No, Miles Karadzik is no. He's here. He's working. Uh, Novika Orvat. So we have two free traders, but they're way up here. And then, uh, how about another one? Or maybe is there an a third one? Yeah, this is uh, Thomas Love Karacek. Oh no, he is. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, I guess we can have this guy come down here. Come all the way. Wow. That's <laughs> Or what if we just make a trader from down here rather than sending him from all the way up there? Uh, that doesn't make sense, right? Uh, how about here? Can we make a trader here? Who has, uh, who has, like who has, see the, the, the problem is making the carts. The carts take a long time to make and And uh, by the time we make the cards down here, maybe it's better to just uh, send it, send one guy from all the way up there down here. Uh, it might be the same thing. The advantage of sending the guy from all the way from up there to down here is that, like uh, this guy has some materials. Like we have, we have prepositioned him with some extra materials that he can bring with him. Let's just bring him with uh bring him down here so that he can uh start servicing them and let us give him a trade route wait how many cards does he have okay he says 11. so his trade route would be uh let's start from here to here to here to here back okay okay does that make sense how about what's what's being produced up here oh I guess yeah I guess that's it yeah because uh, the other towns have how about coming here also so that we get some of the fruits because one end is producing bread here and the other end is producing bread uh so we can get some of the fruits here i i don't know um but it will now cannibalize the uh, trader doing this route over here so uh i guess it, we'll just let it be i think that that should work Especially if the journey begins if we have if we establish another town up down here so that that means he will have a five city hop uh, Okay, so Okay, and then uh, We need to start colonizing this area over here uh, So this is okay. That should be okay. We should start colonizing this area over here so this is mostly mountains. Maybe these are some colonizable area, but, but it looks like kind of deserty, right? The, the the color on the small map shows that it's kind of desert. Uh, but that's just, this is the edge of the map right here. Anyway, so uh, we will. I think the the next set of settlers, we will set we will try to 
settle this area. We have all these mountains here, so we can use these mountains as a, as a base for our heavy industry. Or, uh, or maybe this part is a salt, and this is also salt, right? This is a, a Caspian Sea. I think the Caspian Sea is also salty. Uh, I, I am not sure. I think it is salty. And the, the, the reason why I'm trying to do that is hopefully we can head off this guy. So that if we can capture these mountains over here, and that would be our industrial base, and we lay a lay lay a line all the way through, we will uh, we will keep all of uh, the Russian out of our area. So hopefully we can do that because he is also expanding very quickly, right? From our uh, competitor uh, st study. Uh, he is the Sergei Orlov. He has 21 cities right now. And so it makes, uh, I think it is in our interest to cut him off so that, uh, well, at this stage, we are not in a, uh, there is no, uh, what do you call this, aggro. There is no aggro. There is no fighting yet. Uh, we, can, we can safely encroach on all these territory and then... Uh, and then we will finish the tutorial and then we can go on into the open world game once in the open world game i think there will be there will be aggros already so on this other side uh i think we need to set one settler over here so these things are this is what my thinking is uh we have production already the material production and then these are we're short wool or we're short uh, fur so hopefully something here on the mountains will give us fur. Well, or if not, this possibly can give us fur. Uh, and then we will have, I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe on the port would be better. But they also has they also have fish. Uh, so I, do, I, would, I would rather not repeat uh, the production. Although this one has uh, pottery. So this one, oh, oh, this one also has pottery. So this one and this one, the only difference is that it will be a port, right? And so we can send ships out from here, uh, right? Uh, but it has lesser uh, prairies. It has only one prairie and it has, uh, but it has, yeah, so that means so this one basically has the same things that this one has except fish they have the addition of fish and salt which is not needed because i'm thinking of having a four creating this as a four city block one two three and four so and this will be again will be drawing this will not be an industrial base because they are not producing enough pottery Pottery is being produced by this one to be exported here so that this petunia can make pump. So here we will also be produced. We may be able to produce pottery to help petunia out. I don't know. Or maybe this one might have steel and uh, metal and coal so that we can now make our own. Uh, oh, this one is also pottery. So I don't know. So I don't know. Once I whatever is in here, hopefully it has fur, so it can directly supply this one, or we can start making garments here. If it makes fur, and we import uh, textiles from this, we can actually make uh, garments here, and then so garment, hopefully garment, uh, coal and metal. So I see, I see coal. I see, oh, I see wine. Wine's not bad too, but I'm hoping for coal and metal. So I see coal. Oh, metal's over here. I don't know if we can go that far back. And there's metal and coal over here too. Uh, huh. But no, I think that one would be covered by the influence of this. So we cannot, not here, maybe closer to here. Uh, anyway, so hey, you can see all those birds flying. Oh, I thought they were birds. Oh, no, it was just a rendering problem like that one. I thought they were birds. So anyway, 
Uh, so this raises possibilities as to what we can do by planting another city over here. Assuming we can, because the area of influence of these two cities, this is Venice and Turin, is getting large. So we better get somebody here planted, and so that we can uh, we can connect this city. So if so that we will not be totally. Uh, we, we will have some representation here because this guy definitely will be our future uh, enemy in the future, right? These are, this is a competitor. He is Francois, the French or the Frankish guy. Anyway, uh, our buster just went off. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. And hopefully I will, we will have uh, more uh, settlers preposition so that we will we can uh, we can expand further our uh, reach, <laughs> our empire. Okay, uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.